Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar from Solo Marketer here. And today I want to quickly show you how to change mobile design on a system.io page. Because, yeah, people usually focus on the desktop because we're setting it up on desktop, but also it's very often overlooked, like the actual um, mobile version. It's really important because, uh, let's say, social media sites, where like 95% of the people are actually coming from mobile and uh, a lot of email. Uh, users as well a vast majority of people that open your emails and then you know click on a link or tap on a link uh, they do it from mobile so it's kind of a even though we're setting it up on desktop the priority is actually mobile it needs to be optimized for that so i'm going to show you how to set it up and uh, also another quick thing that i'm going to show you a little bit of a hack on how you can edit the mobile version and also without worrying about uh, messing up the desktop version. So let's let's get right to it. So now, as you can see, there's we have like a landing page. So now let's say we, we have set it up. This is the desktop view. We're happy with it. So the quickest way to go and edit mobile view or to optimize it for mobile is to go down here on the left side, click on the mobile icon. Right. And here it is. So basically you can the things that you adjust here and they're not affected by the desktop version is is font sizes, spacing in between the lines, all that stuff. And also button colors and maybe font color as well. But I, I don't remember. But those previous things, definitely, if you edit them here, like, for example, if you do. Uh, if you do weird spacing, like margins, like crazy margins, right, uh, top of the headline then that's not going to affect it here. So all this stuff that's like distance, size, all that stuff, it doesn't matter. Where it does matter though, is when you start to rearrange things. So let's just say you want to bring up the image. You want it to be seen first, right? On mobile view. So let's just try to move it up. See how for whatever reason you want to have it here, right? It looks nice. But if you go back to the desktop version, now it messes up the whole page. So basically you kind of have to, you know, look for a compromise, right? But uh, there's a much better way to do this. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can edit the mobile version, like do this, for example, but also not worry about the desktop version being affected in any way, uh, just so you don't have to do any compromises. So, and that's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's reverse back to the old state, right? So what you want to do now is... You want to, like this section, you're editing this section. What you want to do is you want to duplicate it, right? Click on this button, the duplicate button for the whole section. And what you want to do now is you want to make one of the sections for desktop only. It can only be seen on desktop and the other one for mobile. It can only be seen on mobile. So it would look something like this. The first section, uh, you click on it then you scroll down. You can see on the left side here, it's desktop and mobile, like where it's going to be visible. So the first one we're just going to do, we're going to click out mobile. It's going to be desktop only, right? You can see it at the corner here. It's desktop only. And now let's go to the second one. Let's click on the section, scroll down, and let's make it mobile only, right? So the, here you can see desktop only. We have only one section, even though we just had two. And if you click on the mobile version, we have mobile only and the desktop section is, is nowhere to be seen. So now if you take the, uh, let's drag the book up top again, the cover, let's do this, right? Remember how it me messed up the desktop version. So now if we click on the desktop version after making changes to the mobile version and voila, it stays the same because this is a different section, right? So you can kind of easily edit each section separately and optimize it to the to the max like the way you want it to be without making any compromises so yeah that's pretty much it and if you want to know how to create landing pages like this obviously for free and all by yourself there should be a video somewhere on this uh i'm pointing somewhere it should be somewhere here on how to create like simple landing pages like this that are highly effective and uh and yeah they don't need to be any more complicated than this uh make sure to click on that thumbnail and, and yeah see you on the next video bye